So again, we're looking at both terms just to see if there's anything we can factor out from both. Uh, the coefficients are not even, so we know we can't factor out a 2. Um, 81 is divisible by 3, but 100 isn't. So we can move on from there you and just, just point. And then you move it around, like move the x in front of the... Yep. I can factor out an x from both these terms, which leaves me with an 81 minus 100. I still have some x's with that 100, but I've only got three of them because I factored out one of the x's. And that's a really good question on this is... So why, why don't we rearrange this one? Because if we do, it's not going to make any difference. 81 and 100 are both perfect squares, but x cubed is not. So we should be looking more towards cubes. 100 is not a perfect cube, neither is 81. So we don't have any perfect squares or perfect cubes left over in this thing. It's just finished. So now if we could, we may look to rearrange them. But um, that's going to change a lot of stuff, right? Because here, here's what's going to happen if we rearrange it, all right? We got x, but I'm going to switch that negative 100x cubed and make that plus 81. But we don't usually like that leading coefficient to be negative in any binomial or trinomial or polynomial, really. So we are going to have to factor out a negative and make this an x. So that gives me 100x cubed. But now it's minus, minus 81. So that's a good point on a test. Just if you want it in descending order, I'm okay with that. And so I'm saying either one of these would work. Just be careful because you do have to pull out that negative.